Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got another kind of beer from Fantastic Verdant down in Penryn, Cornwall. It's a kind of there. Ten years. Um, double IPA. Brewed in collaboration with Fidens from America. Two of the best IPA brewing breweries in the world, I'd say. Um, two of the more hypey ones from their uh, native countries. So yes, another of the celebration beers for 10 years of Verdant. Amazing that Verdant being going 10 years, still top of the game. 8% ABV. Uh, on the hot side, they're using Citra, and on the cold side, we've got Citra, Nelson, and NZH 106, which is new New Zealand-based hot merchant, isn't it? So let's get this open into a glass and see what we've got. I have had this quite recently. I had it on uh, uh, just a third of it the other night when we were up in Newcastle. And but I'd actually already bought this. But I still want to drink some more of it. But anyway, but I got it. It's Verdant. It's Fidens. Ooh, hypey brewery. He's got to get them on the channel. And it's Verdant. It's ten years, and it. I mean, one of my probably my favourite brewery. Them and track it kind of fluctuates, which is my favourite. But right now, Verdant. I think they are fantastic. So beer in the glass of a peachy coloured beer. It's not pure. Yellow, it's gonna get a sort of orange hue to it. The head this bit quite quickly to a, a film of white f froth. So, uh, color wise, I'm gonna go back top end, make for mums, bottom end of unclear for years. So, smell the snuff, let's check out the aroma. Oh, massive big Nelson, big Nelson. It's Nelson on the kind of Back when it was well, not as pokey as Ruaka, not in the kind of ba fried bacon, kind of like petrol, kind of like notes. It's, it's definitely in there. But we've got a citra. I don't know what this other New Zealand hop is, but Ru is Ruaka from New Zealand? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? It's a characteristic you do get in New Zealand hops is that um, that kind of bacon, kind of petrol station forecourt, kind of fumy. Kind of petroly notes. I said petroleum, then I'd be a bit like, oh yeah, I'm all um, oh, I'm not I'm I'm clever. I said petroly. What else are we getting in here? It reminds me of roasted meat with like a rub with lots of citrus in it. Garlic and citrus. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Fried, like roasted meat with garlic, like pot, roast pork with loads of citrus and garlic. I'm not hungry. Definitely some pineapple in there. Something slightly peppery. Yeah, you know, that grape from what you're supposed to get from Nelson. I think you're getting in there, but I think it's quite potent is the aroma. So I think that, that grape will get a little bit lost in favour of those pokey, full-on citric notes. Underripened pineapple. Yeah, lime, very zesty, kind of, kind, of sh kind of like fruity sherbet notes. Smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers. Happy birthday once again to the fantastic Verdant. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is right up there. This is, if you mean all your hypey breweries from all around the world, this is as good as any of them. Oh. Mm, that's it's potent, formidable. Right, what we're getting in here. It's pretty full on. Not rough, it's not green. No burn. It's just aggressive. It's more, a lot of that kind of citrus peel, kind of sherbet notes. Once again, lots of citrus. Zippy, zesty citrus. And then this burnt garlic. This garlic goes slightly bitter when it gets burnt. Definitely getting that in there. Me personally, I, I like to go full on kind of like fruit. I'm not as fussed about it. I mean, I, I, mean, I think they're doing a nice job with this. You get that mix of kind of 
citrus and then kind of dankness. The guys at Vernon are big fans of using a lot of New Zealand hops. And I think these are kind of flavours you get from, well, from New Zealand. Obviously, citrus is not New Zealand, but. Maybe a hint of lemon curd. And get in there. You know, something quite, it's quite bitter in a lot of ways. But in a different way, it's um, that. You get it there. On the aftertaste. It's like licking a lemon. Like lemon, lemon, le lemon, like pith of a pith of a pith of a lemon. Have you ever peeled a lemon? Can you even peel a lemon? And the kind of lick, licking lemon, biting and licking lemon peel, which is where you get something that is approaching kind of hot bitterness. That like kind of brown balances out, keeps you coming back for more. Doesn't get it's not cloying, it's not overly sweet. But definitely a blend of the biting, quite assertive citric notes and then this garlicky, musty kind of sort of thing. It's nice. It's not got me singing and dancing. Despite how good it is, as I said, world class. But flavour pro profile wise, I'm a bit more a bit more juicy through. I, I do like quite quite citrus forward. Probably more than anything, I'd like quite citrus forward thing. But it's that for me personally, my kind of like personal preference, like kind of dank, savoury, garlic kind of side of things, don't really tick the box as assertively as um, other things would be. As I said, nonetheless, extremely good. But if you're into the old, into the dankness and the savoury notes, along with a good old whack of citrus, that is going to be right up your street. So that's 10 years. Double IPA, collab with um, Fidens, and that's, that's part of Verdant's. I'm falling off my words at the moment now. Not just tripping, falling. Um, Verdant's 10th anniversary of beer celebrations. It had to be done. It's Fidens. I had to buy it. I said, low profile, not my personal preference, but quality of the beer is absolutely top draw. Anyway, I'm Rob from Pop Scene. I'll see you next time.